Hello once again, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me clearly over the rain that'll be coming and going as I film. My apologies, but we're going to be continuing with our exercises, and today we're going to talk about the rapier. Specifically, the exercise we want to go for here is isolating the turn of the shoulders and forming that into our Vuporta and Secunda, and how we can emphasize that as well with a little drill that's going to encourage our deep lunges as well as our deep passing steps. So firstly, for this, start off normal, neutral stance. You can either be rear or way, four way, whatever, your normal stance. What you want to focus on is just gradual extension up and let it turn. So I'm not looking to jab this out, then turn it over. I'm looking to extend. And just kind of feel how naturally my arm is extending, and then I drop it back down. What I don't want to get into the habit of doing is putting too much out here, and then returning back sharply or downward. I want it to just be raise, lower, raise, lower. And as you're doing this, your tip, so right now I'm aiming it right at the camera, should stay relatively aligned with what you're aiming at. You don't end up here over and over again. You don't want that snap over effect. Now what you can do is you can start emphasizing that a little more. Again, no lower body yet, but just extend, let the torso come a little forward, and go ahead and cast that arm out. Return. One, two, three, four. You can also start tilting your head to the side. So I'm going into my quarta. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we can move into our secunda. So if this were tailing, turning the nails down, for now I'm going to bring the arm up to the inside of my, uh, my bicep. This squares up the shoulders just slightly. So again, out, return, out, return, out in, return, out in, return. Now I put the head into it, across, across. Now show it to the front. So again, just out with the hand, return back, out with the body, return back, out with the body and the head, return back. You just do that nice and comfortably until you're good on both sides. Now we're going to start adding the rest of the body into it. So that motion is not going to change. Now I'm going to just put what my lower body is doing. So for our deep lunge, again, we do a one-two. We're just going to push off that foot so we're in our nice deep lunge. We want to make sure the lead leg is receiving that weight comfortably. Don't stop yourself, let yourself land, and let that leg flex. And this will be our first lunge. Now, before we go into doing it with the sword, I want to go over how to do this passing step. So, what we want our passing steps to become, for this is going to face this way. What we want our passing steps to be is like lunging on the other side. So I don't want my passing step to be this. We know this exists, we know we can use this, but this is not going to be very advantageous for what we're practicing. The best way, in my opinion, to practice your good deep passing steps is to practice wounding below the sword. If you want to see some examples of that, go watch the uh, most recent Getting More Out Cap Ferro. So essentially what I'm going to do is when I bring myself up, I'm not going to stand up onto my lead leg. Instead, I'm going to push off my back leg so I remain low. At the same time, I'm going to let my foot start to turn. Now I would do this anyway if I was passing the change step, but now I'm going to push off of that, which puts me essentially into a lunge on my other side. And in particular, when I do this off an initial lunge here, I go up through, which allows me to be nice and powerful. Now, you want to keep the head as level as possible while you're doing this. I'm going to put a little finer detail on what that lead leg is doing. So, I lunge. What I am not doing is stepping up, then twisting. What I'm doing is as soon as I start bringing my back leg up, I'm already switching stances, and then I'm pushing off that leg as I go. I'm not looking to be too crazy explosive here. I want to just be smooth and I just lunge on the other side, okay? So let's see those two together now with the sword being involved. So, my action now becomes quarta, lunge. Now I'm gonna turn my arm over, turn, secunda, pass. Nice and low, didn't really gain any height, still equally balanced as I go. I'm going to reset and do that again. So, quarta, lunge, turn over, secunda, pass. Keep that balance. In that case, I still a little bit too much up on my back leg, so I got a little bit of stuff over here, which I don't want. Let's see if we can do that again a little smoother. Quarta lunge, secunda pass. There we go. Nice and smooth. Okay. Now, that's plenty good by itself. What we can now do is add another lunge into it. So for this, we're going to be covering quite a bit of distance. Let's talk about coming off this passing step. So 
generally, going from lunge into pass, decently likely. You go out to your full extent, someone has believed your attack or what have you, and you see the opportunity to wound them below the blade as you bring that leg forward. Going from passing step to lunge, less common, does still happen, so there's going to be a bit of a hover step though. So while I can, from my passing step, in theory, just immediately lunge again, generally that's not that common, and furthermore, we want to give ourselves just a little bit of time to reset to emphasize those shoulders again. So what's going to be is, you're down in your sukunda with your left leg forward or right if you are left-handed. I'm going to bring this back leg up, keep my arm extended as I move across into porta, right? So I'm in tensor right now as I go back to guard, essentially, turn, and then explode off my foot. You should find this leads into a slightly deeper lunge because your sword is leading the way. So here's that again. I'm down here in my sukunda. I let my foot come up. I keep my arm up. My arm turns, and now I explode off of it to finish with my lunge. So let's tack that on to the end of what we were doing. And now I will go this way. So, hopefully I can keep all three of my lunges on camera. We shall see. So, extend lunge, turn pass, up to guard lunge, recover. We'll go the other way now. Extend lunge, turn pass, up to guard, lunge, return to guard. Now I'll do it. Let's see if we can get in the front. I think I should have the room. I might have to slightly shorten my movement, but the basic idea behind this is you'll see how my blade is leading the side I go to, and thus the side I reinforce. So, extend lunge, turn pass, guard, lunge, return. And that's just a nice little simple drill. The whole idea behind it, again, we're just focusing on how those arms extend, focusing on what it connects to the shoulder, and then overemphasizing that with choosing to do a lunge then passing step. Of course, along with this, you should practice your ability to just do a linear secunda lunge or things along those lines. You should also practice the ability to do a passing step going into quarta. These are things that are equally uh, valuable, but these are movements that are going to be emphasized often, and so you should become very, very comfortable with them. Again. Let your whole foot turn before you go into that passing step. We want it to be lunge, new guard, push, not trying to push forward while you're still twisting. That will lead to you standing up or turking, uh, torquing your knee more than you need to. But otherwise, though, a nice little simple drill to emphasize that shoulder turn. It works really, really well. It's also very good if you are alone in the school and have plenty of room to do it. Otherwise, though, thank you very, very much. We'll go over some other techniques another time.